So before I bring all my produce in here, I'm going to assemble this harvest rack. So this is a nine drawer harvest rack from Gardner Supply. I just got it all out of the box. It looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to assemble. So I have the instructions right here. Let me fold this out. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that exciting? So it has drawers that pull out and they have ventilation. So each drawer has slats, which allows for good airflow, which is essential in getting the longest storage out of your produce. And that is the pile of screws that came with the harvest rack. So it can't be that hard, right? There isn't that many pieces. So I'm gonna set the camera up quick and get this thing built. easy to put together. I am so pleasantly surprised because usually I have a harder time putting things together. So we've got nine drawers there and they're all very easy. I like to, you know, pull out and push in. Also, if you've got taller things you want to store, you can just pull a whole drawer out all together and put your taller things in there. So I think at this point, I'm just going to organize everything on the shelves and kind of around it. And then we'll take a look at how everything looks in the end. and I think it turned out perfect. It looks actually very pretty. Um, so I think I'll just give you a quick tour and then we'll talk a little bit more about how long each of these will store and some more detail. So top drawer of the harvest rack, I put taller things like the taller pumpkins and the bigger acorn squash because I don't need to worry about pulling it out. I can just reach over the top. Next row down, I've got garlic, which I've got three varieties in here. We've got chesnock, we've got German red in this little berry basket red toque, and then here are my unnamed varieties that I'm trying to work through first. Next drawer, we've got four butternut squash with a little bit of room to spare. Next row, and I'm not gonna pull this all the way out, but we've got the smaller buttercup squashes, squashes, and then the smaller acorn squash. Then the Yukon gold potatoes, which I didn't get these down into storage fast enough, um, so they have started to sprout, but We'll go through these really quickly, so I'm not super worried about it. And Yukon Golds are the least like easy to store. If you want a good storing potato, you want to go with Russets or Pontiac, something like that. Then we've got sweet potatoes. So I've got Diane's here, Covington's here. It's best if you can store things in a single layer if possible for the most amount of airflow, but we go through these really fast. And this drawer, I'm not going to even pull out, is completely chock full of Covington sweet potatoes nice big ones in here. And then that row is all the big butternut squash. In fact, I took out one of the drawers so I could fit them all. So there's the extra drawer and the extra bamboo tray that I didn't need. In the instructions of this harvest rack, I found this very helpful. Let me turn the camera around. So I'm just gonna kind of hover on this for a second in case you want to pause, but I'm sure you can find this on their website as well. There's some really great guides as to what kind of crop store at what type of temperatures and in what humidity. So I've got quite a few varieties of things I'm storing and some of them actually like to be stored differently than others slightly. And you can find out all kinds of information if you start to research food storage and I'm definitely not an expert. I've been storing this kind of stuff really for the amount of years I've been gardening. Um, like your squash, your pumpkins and sweet potatoes actually like to be a little bit warmer, like 50 to 55 degrees and kind of on the drier side. Uh, and then your garlic and onions like to be a little bit colder, like 35 to 45 degrees, somewhere in there, and a little bit more on the dry side. Um, so I figure though, if you can find a spot where you can keep things below like 55 to 60 degrees, but above like 35 degrees, I think that's a really good range. The last thing is about light. So you want to store your stuff somewhere where it's dark. And I know it looks super bright in here and it's mostly because of the light we brought down uh, and we do have the lamps on, but we also have a window uh, and I'm going to be covering that just with the board. We don't have a curtain down here yet, but it'll be pretty dark once all the lights are turned off that's covered, it'll be dark, so this stuff will store even longer. If it's exposed to light, it will start to sprout, um, like the potatoes will start to sprout a lot quicker, uh, as well as the onions, and then things will start to decompose a lot faster.